In the Orthodox liturgical services, there are a number of litanies. The great litany or litany of peace. The augmented litany. The litany of fervent supplication. The evening litany. And the morning litany. All of which include invocations or petitions by the celebrant and the response by the people. In other words, this is, this is a form of liturgical dialogue. In the great litany, usually beginning our services of Vespers, Matins, Divine Liturgy, the celebrant, priest or deacon, addresses the faithful and establishes an acceptable order of prayer. This litany begins with the words, let us, let us pray to the Lord in peace. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The peace that is only possible because of the mediation of Christ. For it is in him and through him that we are able to pray with a certitude that our prayers will be heard and answered. The celebrant continues, let us pray for the salvation of our souls, for the peace of the whole world and for the union of all. At the conclusion of each rather short petition, the people respond with these words, Lord have mercy. In other words, as an interpretation of that, Lord be gracious to us and receive our prayers. In, this, in the augmented litany, the petitions are addressed to God himself. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. And the, and the choir, the people respond, with singing, Lord have mercy, three times. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Here the petitions provide for the specific request for the immediate needs of the congregation and its individual members. If we can agree that the petitions of the, of the litanies are addressed to the Lord on behalf of all those present in the congregation, then should we not also agree that this common refrain or response to these litanies should incorporate or involve the whole congregation. In other words, the us is not simply referring to a small group standing on the kleros or balcony. If this be the case, then it is incumbent upon the choir director to select appropriate music, that is, music that can be sung without great effort by the entire congregation. One can hardly call appropriate the selection of a large choral work or a setting where the melody changes for each subsequent response, even though the textual response and liturgical function of the congregation remain the same. There is no need for special musical nuances, shadings, or other choral techniques that are associated with a refined choral performance. A single tuneful response, or several responses that are musically tied together so that they can be easily memorized and whose melodies can stand alone, not needing harmonic fulfillment in order to be sung properly, are the obvious criteria for selecting appropriate musical responses for the litanies. Now, it's very important that there be a continuous movement between the priest's petition and the response by the choir. In other words, when the priest begins, in peace let us pray to the Lord, there should not be then a pause, and then the choir singing, Lord have mercy, as if it's a separate hymn, not related, or not, not, not as a response to what the priest has said. And then it is desirable that the next petition by the priest be without a great pause after the choir, can, after the choir with the people saying the response, Lord have mercy. Now, in many of our uh, litanies, the music is not that difficult. It can be sung by the whole congregation. The choir certainly can lead that to keep it in order, to keep it together. It's important that the response sung by the choir be in the same tempo same mood as, in fact, the petition. If the priest is chanting quickly and then the choir responds slowly, there is no continuous movement there. In fact, it's broken. Uh, and, and, and that then, then sort of makes the litany very choppy. It makes the prayer uneven and choppy. Uh, so this is something that we're going to demonstrate with the choir.
singing the great litany with a Romanian melody and with the priest chanting the petition. 